Oh, I have a very sore eye. <laughs> um, I've got treatment for it, obviously, and having a look. Um, I don't know what it is. They're not even sure if it's conjunctivitis. Apparently conjunctivitis is going around, which I didn't know was a thing that could go around, like a flu. But apparently it is. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been dealing with this week. I also have a bit of a sore throat. Um, my partner had COVID. Chris had COVID last week. The week before. I can't remember. He had COVID at some point. Um, so I'm kind of waiting to get it. <laughs> um, and I've got a bit of a thing, but I... I feel like heady more because of my eye. So I don't know if that's a thing with conjunctivitis. I've been working on four wholesale orders. I got two finished last night, which I didn't film. I didn't film anything yesterday, mainly because my phone was out of battery and I just didn't charge it because I didn't really want to have my phone on me. <laughs> yeah, I've just not really been feeling it. So I didn't film anything yesterday, but I did finish two orders yesterday. They were enamel mugs. One had greetings cards and list pads. And the other one, it was enamel mugs and art prints. So those two got done yesterday. I also printed another heap of um, enamel mugs, which are sitting on my desk right now. And I'm about to go and package them. They form part of another order. And the other part of that order is ceramic mugs. But I actually have one huge ceramic mug order that I really need to concentrate on today. So I'm going to pack the enamel mugs that I've done yesterday just to clear them off of my desk. And then I'm cracking on with the ceramic mugs for one order because they have ordered 100 squirrel ceramic mugs. That is correct, 100. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm going to crack on with today. I'm going to work on that. Um, and yeah, we're just going to see how it goes. I, I'd like to have all of them prepped and obviously most of them pressed today. Um, I showed quite a wee while ago in one of my last videos that I have a dug duggle, <laughs> that I have a double mug press which is what I use for the ceramic mugs um, so that does go a little bit quicker which is quite good so I'm going to do that I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to press them but um, I'm expecting it to be all day from now to pressing them uh, prepping them sorry I'm pressing them uh, I'm not sure if I'll get them all pressed but we'll just work on it and see how we go and then tomorrow which will be Wednesday today's Tuesday um, I will be working on the other ceramic mugs either finishing what didn't get done today and or starting the ceramic mugs for the second half of the other order. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Gunky eye, feeling not very great, but yeah, mug pressing, that's what we're getting on with. I've just run a really big print run of the squirrel um, mugs for ceramic mugs and I've cut up some of them and put them into little bricks. I think this should be 50. <laughs> um, this should be 50 mugs so I'm going to prep these and start printing, uh, pressing them, sorry. Print them, then you press them. Um, and, then, and then I'll do a proper count and then I'll go through again and sort of batch them because I don't want to over make them, that's one thing and I obviously need to make sure I've made enough. So I'm going to do this 50 first and then come back and start cutting um, up the other ones and we'll just see how we can work through. I also need to double check that I actually have enough blank mugs. <laughs> I think I do, but I also need them for the other order as well. So I will do these, count the mugs at the same time. If I need to order them, I need to do that today. Um, and then yeah, we'll carry on.
So I've spent the morning, well actually the latter part of the morning because I did start that a wee bit later than I hoped, but I spent the last couple of hours just prepping some of the mugs um, and I'm going to start pressing them now or otherwise I'm going to end up not getting onto it. So we are in my kitchen because when I press ceramic mugs I actually use our oven and I'm going to explain to you why. Obviously mugs get pressed using heat and that's what the heat presses are for, but with ceramic mugs, let me grab one, with ceramic mugs, the base of the mug is obviously thicker than the rest of the mug because you've got this whole chunk that's holding the bottom of the mug on. But that means that the temperature of this part takes longer to heat than this, the top of the mug would, if that makes sense. So because this is much thicker at the bottom, it would need to be heated more for the transfer of the uh, mug paper to actually go onto the mug. And if you don't heat the mug bottom or the mug, before you put it into the mug press, then you get fading all the way around the bottom. And this is really obvious when I press mugs that have got a coloured background. Now, what is useful about this order <laughs> is that the mugs, the squirrel mugs, have a white background. And that is much, much easier to press. I'm so thankful that it's that because the dark coloured, especially the really dark coloured mugs, are, can be an absolute nightmare to press. And that's why, because the bottom is much thicker. And it, I mean, ceramic's cold. When you touch it, you can feel it's cold. So I use my oven on a very low heat. It's only on like 50, not even quite 50 degrees centigrade, that is. Um, I've got an electric oven, a fan oven. Um, so I use that just a little bit to heat the mug all the way through so that when I take it out, and if I touch the bottom, it would be hot. And that means that it's ready. 50 degrees is not hot enough to start the transfer. It's just hot enough to heat the mug. So that's why we're randomly in my kitchen. <laughs> um, and I use my kitchen and the surfaces in here for pressing the ceramic mugs. Um, because of the heating and the fading things that you can get with these mugs, I end up with quite a lot of seconds sometimes. So check my Etsy shop. There's always a second sale running and they, they are half price. The mugs that I've got fading on them, I still sell them at half price. The mug itself is absolutely fine. You can use it as a mug. It just means that some of the patterns on the edge or somewhere there's maybe like something that's faded or there was maybe a mark or something on the mug and that's what the seconds mugs are. So if you want a half price mug, go and check my Etsy. They're on there now.
morning guys, today is Wednesday, um, I still have a sore eye, I still have a sore throat <laughs> uh, and I was working through the mugs yesterday but I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, there was quite a few reasons for that, one of them was I wasn't feeling very well and the other one was it was absolutely roasting yesterday, <laughs> um, we are in September now uh, here in Scotland and it's normally not this hot <laughs> um, and I wanted to take Birch out and we went to the forest so I took her up there just to get cooled down, um, in amongst the trees is much cooler than it is down um, here where we were staying. So I took her up the hill, went into the forest yesterday and that was really nice. Um, but it meant I kind of wrapped up work kind of early yesterday. Um, but I did press through 50 mugs, so I've done half of that big order. And I want to crack on obviously with the rest today because I have a collection booked for tomorrow for my parcels and it needs to go away with that. So I really have to get that finished today. <laughs> Um, I also did a little order yesterday that had come in, did that just come in yesterday or maybe it came in, oh no I think it came in on Monday, it was just a little order. So I pressed the, and it's just enamel mugs and I have greetings cards that I've just printed here, mushroom ones, that I just need to package and then I'm going to just wrap up that little order so that it's ready as well. I'm going to do that first, then I'm going to crack on with the squirrel mugs. <laughs> believe this <laughs> so I'm sat here editing this video and I've just figured out that my phone corrupted so over those days that I was filming all of these mugs getting made it was really really hot weather and I had the oven on I had the mug presses on and I was filming in the kitchen all day and then the last lot of the day my phone was running out of battery so I had to charge it and then I was filming again and I didn't realize that my phone had overheated <laughs> and that meant that it's actually blanked it looked like it was still recording, but it's blanked the last three videos that I filmed of me boxing up the last lot of mugs, like putting the mugs into their individual boxes, and then actually boxing the um, full order that I did, which ended up being three boxes um, of 100 mugs, and it has lost that. So here I am sitting editing this video and I can't finish it showing you how it ended, but it did end, I did get through it, I did finish it, and those mugs are out off to France. So it was a lovely French stockist that had ordered them um, and their mugs are now on the way, which I'm very pleased about. Um, I'm also pleased that my eye has healed, <laughs> um, which is really good uh, and I am feeling a bit better. So it is rubbish that it has uh, not allowed me to show you the end of that, but it really was just the boxing of it all. It was the same, you would have seen me anyway earlier in the vlog. 
um, pressing all those mugs. Um, it was the same, but the packaging thing took a while because because they're ceramic mugs they are breakable and I lined all the boxes um, with extra bits of cardboard just to, to give them a bit more stability because they are like I said going off to France so they are now on their way uh, thank you so much for staying with me today uh, and through this vlog I hope you enjoyed it I haven't been filming as much as usual um, I think I'm going to probably just go down to maybe two uh, vlogs every month instead of once a week um, it might be two or it might be three I'm not really sure but I'm just going to film things I think you're going to want to see because I do press a lot of mugs, I do wrap a lot of cards <laughs> and that's really what I do and I don't know if you're bored of that because that's what I've been showing because that really is my week and um, so I thought I would maybe just film things that I think you're going to be interested in uh, rather than just the same thing over and over again but do let me know in the comments below if you like these vlogs and um, I'm really interested to hear what you think and um, yeah just thank you so much again for sticking with me today and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Thanks guys. Bye.